In the previous several lectures, we discussed the idea that all objects emit energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. Now, Maxwell's theory on electromagnetism predicted that these electromagnetic waves are emitted as a result of the oscillations or vibrations of the electric charges found within atoms and molecules. Now, Max Planck's quantum hypothesis, which we spoke about in the previous lecture, states that the energy associated with atomic and molecular oscillations is quantized. That is, this energy can only exist as an integer multiple of the minimum energy given by H times F, where H is Planck's constant, it's a value that was calculated experimentally and f is the frequency of that particular oscillation. Now Einstein extended this hypothesis even further. He argued that whenever energy is emitted in the form of light by a molecular vibration, the energy of that molecule is decreased by a quantized amount, by discrete amount, that is equal to the energy of that particular vibration, that is, equaling H times F. So to see exactly what we mean, let's look at the following diagram. Let's suppose we have a certain molecule and that molecule has a total energy equaling N times H times F, where N is simply some positive integer value. Now, once our oscillation, once the vibration of the molecule actually takes place, it emits electromagnetic wave in the form of light, that light carries an energy that is quantized that is equal to H multiplied by F. Now, if the initial energy of our molecule was N times H times F, and because energy is conserved, that means the final energy of the system of the molecule after that oscillation is equal to N times H times F minus the energy it lost in the form of emitted light, H times F, and that is equal to N minus 1 times H times F. So by making the following deduction, Albert Einstein concluded the following. Einstein proposed that light is emitted in packets or quanta of energy given by H times F. Now these discrete bits of energy became known as photons and this led to the quantum theory of light. It led to the photon theory of light. Now to actually test whether or not this theory is in fact true, Einstein proposed to take quantitative measurements of the photoelectric effect. Now, what exactly is the photoelectric effect? So basically, when light shines on a metal surface, electrons are emitted from that surface. So if we have the following metal surface and we shine light on that surface, electrons will be emitted. Now, by conducting various experiments with the photoelectric effect, the quantum theory of light was proven to be true. Now, in the next lecture, we're going to discuss the specifics of the photoelectric effect and we're going to discuss how the photoelectric experiment led to the validation of the photon theory of light.